Uh, hello everyone, my name is Timur Hanwar Huda and my research studies topic is about the academic challenges of SDUS-TFL students faced in, in exchange programs. So going through the content, firstly I will talk about the uh, purpose of this study, the significance of my research paper, then the about research questions, participants, uh, research methods and instruments, literature review, um, then about the research stages, results and findings, and lastly, about the conclusion. Uh, so, the first is the purpose. The purpose of my study is to identify and describe what kind of challenges um, as US TFL students faced in exchange programs and to, uh, to take a deeper understanding about pros and cause of an academic mobility program. Um, then the second about the significance. The significance of this research paper is uh, to recognize the hardships of academic particularities in exchange programs. Then the second is to describe which skills and news uh, the students uh, have opened for themselves. The third is about um, the research questions. Um, in my research paper, um, the researcher tries to find the answer for two main questions. Uh, the first question is, um, which challenges did exchange students face in EFL classrooms abroad? And the second is, what are the main skills did students gain being in an unfamiliar environment? Uh, I had uh, 16 participants, all of them was uh, the third year students of Suleiman Demirel University of the Faculty of Education and Humanities. Uh, so the invitations um, was, uh, the invitations were sent uh, to the students who uh, had the exchange program. Uh, and according to a constant form, confidentiality and anonymity were, were kept uh, and the invitations and council letters were sent to each participant and the participation was uh, completely voluntary. So the next part is about research methods and um, instruments. In conducting this research paper and achieving the objectives of the study, I've used um, the mixed method of data collection that includes uh, qualitative and quantitative data collection. For uh, qualitative data, I uh, have chose uh, the interview and for the quantitative data collection, I used um, the questionnaire uh, by online platform Google Forms. And the next is the literature review. Here uh, on the screen you can see the um, all literature that I have reviewed and that I used in my uh, research paper. And then um, the next uh, section is about the research stages. Uh, firstly, I uh, firstly reviewing the appropriate studies, articles, and literature that relevant uh, to my particular topic. Then the second is writing up a literature review, starting write the literature review. Uh, then the we're designing questionnaire and an interview, then the collecting data um, and analyzing the case of data, then the, um, the last is making conclusions and writing the paper. And the next is about the findings and results. According to the conducted um, data collection, uh, according to uh, questionnaires and interviews, all of the participants 
uh, responded that the in exchange program helped them uh, broaden their horizons, helped them to be uh, aware of uh, culture, helps them uh, to be independent, help, to get very uh, to get very uh, cool experience uh, and not to be afraid. And also they have mentioned that um, they had improved their language skills, comprehension skills, understandings, and also take your second language. And um, according to the questionnaire, 62.5% um, uh, uh, 10 participants out of 16 uh, have chosen the option yes for the question uh, did you face any academic challenges and it means that they uh, really had some academic challenges in uh, education and uh, exchange program and in the end to sum up um, we're trying to answer uh, for the research questions first is uh, which academic challenges uh, did um, face uh, the used TFL students in an exchange program uh, uh, I want to say that uh, firstly, uh, they uh, have uh, faced some problems in assessing and in examination format, uh, grading assessment, uh, classroom management, and the, especially uh, participant one mentioned that uh, that their uh, examination for examination format is different from our country. There, uh, they have only uh, open ended questions that are uh, focused on understanding of the students and for the uh, second question um, uh, what are the main skills did students gain being in an unfamiliar environment uh, they had improved their speaking skills listening and uh, writing skills uh, they had increased their second foreign language comprehension also uh, and they become uh, aware of cultural dimensions uh, uh, they become more independent and open-minded